Hello everyone! Today we are going to try and see if this will make lime zest or if it will peel it or turn it into something else. Um, this is the sous chef Breville 16 peel and dice. Got the peeling blade in there. Um, so here we go. Hopefully this turns out well. It does peel onion and it does peel garlic. So um, Figured I'd try something a little bit firmer. Um, I've got a couple videos of it peeling apples. One time it uh, didn't work at all, so hit and miss. Um, so we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna put the timer here on, oh, probably maybe 20. So I'm gonna just reset it here. 10, 20, okay, and I'm gonna start. Uh, I've got to put this in here first. There we go. It's all good to go now. Okay, let's see if I can get a good picture of this. like there's just a tiny little bit of sliver of lime stuff down there um, and our pet bird is out at the moment it's kind of flying around the house so if you see it that's what's going on there oh boy so uh, no it only peeled a little bit here looks like it peeled off the unround surfaces which is kind of funny to me. Um, I'm gonna cut one in half and try it again and see what happens. See if this is gonna, oh my gosh, this is the dullest knife ever. I'm gonna have to pause the video. Okay, hold on. And we are back, I've cut them in half. Um, I'm gonna try peeling them this way, see if, they, if it does anything. Um, I might end up trying with one of the little slicing blades or something i don't know um i'll set this on 15 this time see if that does anything oh, well we're getting some juice out of there i guess that's a good thing uh, huh. wow well hmm Definitely got the juice out. Look at all that juice on there. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, I kind of beat it up at the edges, but nope, it still has almost all of its peel intact, except a little bit's missing here. So I'm going to go ahead and unload this and then maybe see what we can do with the slicing blade. Might just want to put the slicing blade on really uber thin and see what happens there. That sounds like it'd be kind of fun. Um, so this is probably like a teaspoon of juice and a little tiny bit of the peel in there. Hmm. Well, that was disappointing. But I wasn't exactly hopeful that it would um, peel it, so... Um, all right, well, I'm going to put this back in, and then I'm going to go and grab the, uh, oh, that's the French, that's the French fry blade. Um, what happened to my other blade? Oh, here it is, it's already out. Um, well, it looks like we have it on... I'm going to put it down to one of its lowest settings. Um, I'm trying to hold the phone at the same time. It doesn't really work. Um, two hands is needed. Hold on. So we are back. I've set it to one on the dial. And that is super, super duper thin here. Not quite paper thin, but almost. Okay. Putting the blade in. That'll work. Alright, now. 
think I have this set up right. Pretty sure. All right, so we're going to put in a couple limes here. Let's see how this handles this. Um, we're going to put it down like that, and we're going to put it in. it that was significant pressure I was adding so I didn't want to bind the blade um, it does look like little bits of it oh that's cool little bits of it came off we'll see here I'm only making a marinade so it's not like this is the end of the world or anything um yeah about that so the paper thin is actually paper thin. I don't know if you can see that. But wow, it's curled. It's so thin that it's curled. And that's a slice of lime peel. That is so cool. All right, well, we are going to um, put that back in there and um, try it with a little bit thicker slices. Let's see if I can do this with one hand again. Um, okay, so uh, we're going to go with two. Let's see what two does. Two looks like it's about maybe a sixteenth of an inch. Um, there's also settings in between one and two, but is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we're going to put it back together. this back on. I'll just start with these ones I had in here before. Mangled as they are. I think it's fine. Okay, and we're going to push. Start. Oh, wow. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Stop. Oh, boy. Well, that was exciting. And it looks like it almost bound up on the edge because the limes were too small or something i don't know interesting oh i'm sorry i'm not showing it on the video wow yeah little wedge pieces here kind of got tangled oh it really did get tangled oh hey that's interesting it's stuck in there uh huh all right well i think i'm gonna leave it that way and that's fine and look at these lime slices, which, hmm, good enough for me. I'll make a lovely marinade. And what the heck? I think I'm going to maybe try it a little bit smaller and see what happens. Maybe I'll put it between one and two. So there we go. I'll just put it right between one and two. There's two little things between those two, so. And I'll put this back on. And I think after this, I might add some of the seasonings or something. I don't know. I haven't quite figured out what I'm doing with it yet. Okay, and we're going to push the start. Whoa! Boy, howdy. It doesn't like the whole, like, getting wedged at the edges piece. Um, but it's making wonderful little lime stuffs. Whoa, they just got tangled in there. Hmm, interesting. We'll have to get that out later, I guess. Hopefully I didn't damage the blade. That would be bad. Um, so, yeah, this actually dropped in there. But look at that. That's kind of cool. All right, well, this is perfect. It's perfect for a marinade. Um, well, thanks for watching, guys, and hope this was an interesting one.